Today I'll be talking about whether you should ever fight on the street. Coming up. If you want to master MMA fundamentals, check out my instructional called MMA Essential Lessons. In it you can learn about clinch takedowns, boxing, grappling, Muay Thai, ground and pound, Thai and puppet master clinch, escapes from inferior positions and shooting takedowns. Check out the link in the description below. Hi, my name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net where we teach coaches, fighters and enthusiasts how to train smart and not just hard. And today I'll be talking about whether you should ever fight on the street. The short answer is sometimes if there is good reason. And what exactly does that mean? Well, in general you should not be fighting on the street, but there are some circumstances where you would have to. So for example, if you are forced to defend yourself and there is no other way out, Yes, of course, fight on the street and use your skills. If you are protecting someone, maybe a family member or a friend or someone, then yes, of course, you should fight. But other than that, you should really not fight on the street. What are the chances that you will ever f really need to fight on the street? Very, very slim. When you go to the primary school, that's when the boys start fighting, maybe somewhat in high school as well, but later when you go to college or when you start working, why, what is the reason for fighting? No, no reason whatsoever. Except when you go to clubs where there's loud music, alcohol flowing, women that are scantily dressed and men trying to hit on women, then in that kind of atmosphere the fight is more likely to break out and it does happen. Along with other bad stuff like knives and guns and stuff like this. So other than that, you know, in a normal setting, uh, a work setting, a college setting, you will not have any, you know, need to fight. Also, if you don't live in a too tough of a neighborhood, then you will also have no need for fighting. And even in those kinds of neighborhoods, it is the kids and teens that are fighting, not young adults or adults. Now let's talk about the bad things that can happen when you fight on the street. You can get seriously injured, you can get hurt by knives, by guns if, if guys are carrying and there's all sorts of uh, crazy stuff that can happen. Even if you're stronger than the guy, even if you beat the guy, what if you injure him? Then you will go to court, you will pay his bills, uh, maybe his family will be out for revenge or something. Maybe he will be out for revenge when he gets better and uh, this is something that you really want to avoid in life. Of course, if you have no choice, you have no choice, you have to fight. But if you do, do everything that's in your power for the fight not to happen. And some of you might be thinking, how do I do that without coming off as a coward? Well, there are ways, of course, and one of the best displays of this uh, that I've ever seen is by a German security guard that's actually a kickboxing world champion. And there was this, I think he, he was an Arab guy who tried to go into a disco, uh, the German didn't let him, then the Arab starts insulting him really bad and the German guy really takes it easy, uh, tries to explain him uh, very rationally, then he mentions that he knows his brother, that he trained his brother and you can see the tide turning. He did not use any aggression whatsoever, even though he was heavily insulted. I will link that video down in the description below or up in the cards. So uh, that was the most beautiful example of uh, someone who has really high level skills, not using them, but using his verbal skills instead. This is not always possible, I know. So uh, what you can also do is this. Somebody insults you, you insult him back, but you don't fight. That someone keeps insulting you, you insult him back and ask him, what do you want to do about this? So you are not fighting, you are not uh, uh, instigating the fight, of course you are not backing off and you are showing that you are holding your ground, but you are not hitting first. If you hit first, in the eyes of the law, you are the one starting the fight and you will be more uh, responsible uh, in court if it ever comes to court. Now, this is not an ideal solution, you're holding your ground and you're kind of like baiting him to start first, but uh, as I said, it's not an ideal solution, it's much better if you can somehow settle this without conflict. And one thing about people who have really good fighting skills is they don't feel the need to use it that often because they're secure in themselves, in their skills and it happened to me that you know, guys insult me in, uh, it very rarely happens, but it happens that some guy insults me in traffic. And this is a common situation, it's called road rage. I don't know why, but people tend to be a lot more angrier when, the, 
when they're behind the wheel, then if you were to say, bump them with the shoulder on the street, then they wouldn't be so angry. I don't know why this, this phenomenon happens. Maybe because they're, you know, they have some kind of measure of security in front of them in terms of, you know, a car. So sometimes I got insulted in traffic. Do I care? I really don't care. I have things to do. Uh, I don't want to, uh, to spend my time arguing with that person. I can maybe ask him like, what, what's up? Why are you doing this? But other than that, I'm not the one going out, out of the car. I'm not the one going to fight him first. No way. And I have an interesting story to share about traffic. It's not my story. Uh, there was this guy uh, that's a shooting instructor in the police and very good at shooting as well. He competes in uh, pistol shooting. So one day I think he cut off uh, a, some guy in traffic and that guy turns out to be some criminal. Uh, he didn't like being cut off. Uh, he went out of the car, pulled out his pistol, but what he didn't know was that the guy he was pulling the pistol at was a shooting instructor. So the guy, uh, the police guy uh, takes out his gun and shoots him in the leg. So the criminal, you know, you know he thought he was going to intimidate the guy, maybe even shoot him. I don't know what, what he wanted exactly, but he got shot in the leg. So you never know what kind of people you will end up meeting in traffic or during some arguments. Maybe they're cops, maybe they're criminals, maybe they're really crazy. Whatever it is, don't fight. If you don't have to, don't fight. Even if you meet a regular guy, why do you need to fight? Why, why would you need to hurt someone? If there is no need, don't do it. Many MMA champions use ground and pound as their go-to strategy. If you want to learn how to do it properly, check out my total ground and pound blueprint instructional. The link is in the description. Do you engage in street fighting? And if you do, what are the conditions that must happen in order for you to engage in street fighting? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like me to do some street fighting videos, uh, on how to how to use your MMA skills in street fighting let me know and let me know specifically what you would like to learn if you like this video like it and share it and you can also subscribe to my channel and if you'd like a more in-depth MMA training check out my instructionals my name is Mark Leichner from MMACoach.net and I will see you again very soon